Let's take a look at what happens here. Okay. So, uh, isolation on the button. Seems pretty standard, right? Yeah, I mean, seems good to me. Okay. And I flop one pair with a flush draw. I bet $2 he calls. Yeah, I think that's a good spot to check back against some more aggressive players, too. But... Against most passive players, I'm definitely betting. The guy's playing 49-11, and he folds to 60% of continuation bets over a sample size of um, 57. Yeah. So, he folds quite a bit. All right, I turn two pair. Yep. Checks. I bet four into 635. Do you think you would ever want to go larger there, like closer to $5? I don't see too much reason for it, but, uh, I mean, what would be the reason for it? Just to get more value? Yeah, because I think his calling range is going to be pretty inelastic here. Like, he, if he has a draw, he's probably still going to call it, and because uh, the 6 kind of adds a little bit to his draws a little bit, if they're like around the jack-9, like the lower end of it, it gives him no actually doesn't change anything because the seven still uh ignore that but basically i think if he is a draw he's still going to call it or if he has two pairs he's still going to call it so i think you could get closer you could bet a little bit closer to the five dollars here but obviously anything from like four to five dollars is fine okay anyway and the river's a five and he checks and i just decide to check back okay so do you think there's value in a river bet i don't know. I think the main component of components of his range are like draws, uh, obviously flush draws, straight draws, all those miss. Mm -hmm. And then yeah, the only thing to get there is like ten eight seven. Oh right, yeah, yeah. But that's like super unlikely, or at least it's not a large part of his range. Right. And then like an ace king and an ace queen type hand, and I don't know. Well, ace queen. Ace Queen, we, yeah, we, we have both of those beat. Uh, in terms of what I'm losing to, um, I mean, Ace Jack is the only hand that I could see uh, us losing to. So there there might be some thin value versus an Ace King or an Ace Queen uh, type hand, or like a you know Ace Five is another one that might, or like Jack Nine or something. Jack Nine, sure, sure, sure. So there's probably some value there. Again, I wouldn't bet. I wouldn't bet a lot. Yeah, like forty percent at the most. So like, if I bet, uh, if I would have bet five bucks on the the turn, yeah, I could bet five bucks again on the river. Four bucks, I bet on the turn. Seems a little bit small here. Probably bet like five seventy five. Yeah, that seems about right. And if like you know that like. This obviously goes into, like, knowing a player really well, but, like, if you think, like, he's going to put you on a busted draw, he's going to snap you with, like, any jack or ace, you can bet the river really large. But I think, like, betting, like, two-thirds pot is probably the net worth size thing. It either, is, it, need, it either needs to be really small, like, less than 40%, or really large to when you're repping a bluff, basically. Right. So, yeah, I definitely think that was a good spot to get thin value. Um... And he did end up having uh, Jack five with a flush draw, so he he had a fairly similar hand to what I, kind of what I expected. He you know he he did have the draw which didn't get there, yeah. And but he also had two pair along with it, so I I do think we would have gotten uh, some value from Jack five. Yeah, some value. All right, 